work on your phrasal verbs part 5. Socializing and leisure time. Или американский вариант leisure time. Call for. If you call for someone or something, you go to the building where they are to collect them. I'll call for you at about 8. Тут, скорее всего, ошиблись и не поставили at about 8. То есть я зайду за тобой при, при, uh, около 8. Call for означает зайти за кем-либо. Или collect somebody. Или pick somebody up. I'll be calling for you at 7 o'clock. When shall I call for you? Когда мне за тобой зайти? Call on. If you call on someone, you visit them for a short time. Shall we call on Charlotte since we are so near? Call on. Uh, pay a short visit to somebody. Заскочить, зайти за кем He's planning to call on Catherine today. Sophia was intending to call on Miss Kitts. I might call on her later. Вообще будет очень много вариантов фразовых глаголов зайти за кем-либо. Мы потом дальше их все просмотрим. Следующее. Catch up. If you catch up, you talk to a friend, finding out what has happened in his or her life since you last met. It would be really nice to catch up over a cup of coffee sometime. Catch up. Наверстать. Посполнить. The ladies spend some time catching up on each other's health and families. Let's do lunch somewhere so we can catch up. Давай как-нибудь пообедаем вместе и расскажем друг другу последние сплетни. Come along. If someone comes along, uh, they go somewhere with you or go to the same place as you. We are going out for dinner. Why don't you come along with us? То есть пойти или сопровождать. Come along. Пошли, идем. Швей, поторопись. John came along with us to the cinema. John пошел с нами в кино. Come out. If someone comes out, they go somewhere with someone socially. Would you like to come out with us to the cinema? Сходить куда-либо. Would you like to come out to the theater with us? Ты не хочешь сходить со мной, а с нами в театр? Следующее. Come over. Первое. When someone comes over, they move across a room or other place towards you. The waiter came over and put her drink down in front of her. Второе. When someone comes over, they visit, you ha- visit your house to see you for a short time. Come over and have lunch with us tomorrow. Note. You can also use come around. Еще примеры. Come over to see us tomorrow. Заходи к нам завтра. Еще. Why don't you come over? Кстати, uh, come over. Есть еще синонимы, как uh, come around. И вот пример. Why don't you come around или come around and see us uh, one evening? Почему бы тебе не зайти к нам как-нибудь вечером? He came around this morning to apologize. He just... Uh, вот еще uh, come over. Uh, в том же значении есть uh, call in, фразовый глагол. То есть, заходить, заскочить. То есть, у нас кроме come over, есть еще come around, call in. И сейчас еще появится, мы посмотрим чуть дальше. Кстати, в первом значении come over, подойти кому-то. То есть, come up to есть синоним. То есть, come over, значение подойти, есть еще come up to somebody. Продолжаем примеры. He just calls in occasionally. Он иногда заходит. То есть синоним к come over. Есть drop in с тем же значением заходить, зайти. If you drop in on someone, you visit them informally, usually without having arranged it. Примеры на drop in. Сейчас мы рассмотрим синонимы к come over. Вот один из них тоже drop in. In. Зайти, заглянуть, заскочить, забежать. Why not drop in for a chat? 
She spent most of her de- of the day dropping in on friends in Edinburgh. She and Danny will drop by later. <coughs> She and Danny will drop by later. Drop by тоже синоним к come over. Drop by, заходи. Заходи запросто, когда захочешь. To drop in to see somebody означает зайти навестить кого-либо. То есть drop in, drop by, call in, или drop around, или pop in. Сейчас еще будут, будут примеры. Итак, все мы рассматриваем come over. Вот еще синоним come by, заходить, заглядывать. Why don't you come by some afternoon and have coffee with me? Типа, может, может быть, заглянешь ко мне как-нибудь днем на чашечку кофе. Drop around тоже из синонимов. Посмотрим пример. Why don't you drop around sometime? Заходи как-нибудь. Thanks for dropping by. Спасибо, что зашли. Drop by anytime you're in town. Заскачивай. Да, заходи, когда будешь в городе. I've just dropped in for a minute. Я зашел только что на минутку. Drop in to see us anytime. За, 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 заходи в любое время. Let's drop in on them while... Why, oh, еще раз. Let's drop in on them while we are in the neighborhood. Let's drop in on them while we are in the neighborhood. Давайте зас, э, заскочим к ним, э, пока мы э, в, в этом районе. Еще примеры. Кстати, есть разговорный вариант pop in, тоже заскочить. Just pop in anytime you're passing. Заходи, если будешь проходить мимо. То есть pop in, забежать, заглянуть. I'll pop in to say goodbye. Я забегу попрощаться с тобой. I thought I'd pop in and see how you are. Я думал, что зайду проведать. Так, все это синонимы к come over. Mm-hmm. Так, дальше. Mm-hmm. Ну, давайте еще раз прочитаем. Come over. Uh, the waiter came over and put her drink down in front of her. Во втором значении еще раз пример. Come over and have lunch with us tomorrow. И note, примечание, you can also use come around. Следуй, следующий drop in которое мы, кстати, уже рассмотрели, но тем не менее, давайте прочтем. Drop in. To drop in means to visit someone informally, usually without having arranged the visit. I thought I'd just drop in and see how you were. Note, you can also use drop by and drop round. Да, эти мы тоже рассмотрели фразовые глаголы. Note, еще одно примечание. You can also use pop in. This is, this is a more informal British form. Вот то, что я говорил. Pop in, разговорный вариант. И, кстати, британский. <coughs> Следующее. Eat out. Eat out. When you eat out, you have a meal at a restaurant instead of, a, instead of at home. <coughs> Do you eat out a lot in London? No. The opposite of eat out is eat in. This eat out. Антоним к нему будет eat in. То есть питаться вне дома. Let's eat out tonight. I'm too tired to cook. Давай сегодня пойдем в какой-нибудь ресторан. Я слишком устала, чтобы готовить. Сделаем пример на eat in, то есть питаться дома. Are we eating in tonight? Мы сегодня ужинаем дома. Get in. When a person or a vehicle gets in, they arrive at a place where people are expecting them to be. I'll tell him you called when he gets in. Um, второе значение. If you get in, you succeed in entering a building. We went to a museum and it cost 10 euros to get in. То есть, в первом значении прибыть, прийти. И второе значение, как попасть, попасть куда-то, войти. Еще примеры. Значит, если мы говорим over train или over bus or plane or other transport, Get in означает arrive at its destination. Our flight uh, got in too late. Еще примеры. To get in late – это приходить домой поздно. To get in time uh, – приходить или пребывать вовремя. Get together. 
get together when people get together or when someone gets people together two or more people meet in order to discuss something or to spend time with each other we should all get together and go out for a drink he got a bunch of people together who wanted to help out we get together twice a year go out when you go out you leave your house and go somewhere else I thought we could go out somewhere for a picnic. Note the opposite of go out is stay in. Go out. Let's go out for a walk. Go over. If you go over, you go to someone's house and visit them for a short time. There was a phone message from Jeremy asking me to go over the next evening. Can we go over to Alice today? Note, you can also use go round. То есть зайти на короткое время. Go over, go round. Ну, а сейчас давайте рассмотрим все uh, синонимы, которые мы уже немного uh, проходили, смотрели. Но сейчас, сейчас подытожим. Итак, у нас есть call on somebody, call in или pop in. Да, заходить ненадолго. Еще, если с глаголом drop. Drop in on somebody или drop by, drop around. Если с глаголом come, то это come over, come by, come around. Или to visit, pay a short visit или to pay a visit. Go and see somebody или go over, go round или around. То есть все это синонимы. Зайти к кому-нибудь э, в гости. Заходить, заглянуть, заглядывать, заскочить. Call on, calling, um, pop in, informal, drop in on somebody, drop by, drop around, come over, come by, come around, visit, pay a visit, или pay a short visit, go and see somebody, go over, go round. Следующее. Hang out. If you hang out somewhere or hang out, you spend a lot of time in a place, often not doing very much. То есть тусоваться, тусить. Informal. You don't hang out at the park anymore. Shall we go to town and just hang out? Spend, uh, то есть это означает to spend time relaxing or enjoying oneself. I often used to hang out in supermarkets. We can just hang out and have a good time. Where does he hang out? Где он обычно ошивается? Put off. Откладывать. Или притормозить, призадержать. Два значения у нас. Итак, первое. If you put off something, you delayed or arranged to do it at a later time than planned. She used, to, uh, she used tiredness as an excuse to put off things she didn't want to do. I know I've got to call him, but I keep putting it off. But I keep putting it off. Второе. If you put a person off, you delay seeing them or doing what they want you to do. То есть, вот, притормаживать или призадерживать кого-то. She'll be here soon, unless I can put her off somehow. Show up. Show up. If you show up, you arrive at a place where people are expecting you. То есть появиться, приходить. Синоним. А, ну да, давайте посмотрим вначале пример. I waited, for, I waited for half an hour, but she didn't show up. I waited for half an hour, but she didn't show up. Note, you can also use turn up. То есть show up или turn up, появиться, приходить. He didn't show up for work. Или he didn't show up for, for, a, for a rehearsal. То есть он не появился на работу или на репетицию. Rehearsal, репетиция. I hope she shows up soon. Надеюсь, что, что она скоро появится. They showed up late for the wedding. He showed up drunk. То есть он появился пьяным. Half the guests failed to turn up. He turned up late at the party. She turns up late for everything. Она всюду приходит с опозданием. Stay in. If you stay in, you remain at home 
rather than going out. We stayed in the whole evening. Note, you can also use stop in. Note, the opposite of stay in is go out. То есть сидеть дома, не выходить. Оставаться или сидеть дома, не выходить никуда. I'll stay in to wait for his telephone call. Я останусь дома и буду ждать его телефонного звонка. <coughs> take up. If you take up an activity or a job, you start doing it. I thought I'd take up fishing. You are good at art. You should take it up professionally. Take up. Заниматься чем-либо. To take up photography, например, заняться фотографией. He left a job in the city to take up farming. Дальше. He took up um, acting while he was at college. Он начал играть в спектаклях, когда учился в колледже. Следующая, 14 глава. Это у нас sport and fitness. Первое, catch up. If you catch up or catch someone up, you reach someone who is in front of you by walking faster. Или faster. Simon tried to catch up with the others. То есть догон... догнать, догонять. I had to run to catch up with her. Мне пришлось бежать, чтобы догнать ее. I'll catch you up later. Равняется I'll catch up with you later. Я догоню вас позже. She soon caught him up. Cut down. If you cut something down or cut down, you reduce the amount of something you use or eat or do something less often. We need to cut down the amount of fat in our diets. You can cut the calories down a bit by adding less sugar. Uh, he cut down on coffee and cigarettes and ate a balanced diet. Ты сократить, уменьшить что-то. If you spend more than your income, can you try to cut down? You could cut down the expenses. Ты мог бы сократить расходы. Fall behind. If you fall behind or fall behind someone when moving with a group of people, you move more slowly than them. So they get ahead of you. Uh -huh. Schumacher was strong throughout the race, but fell behind 10 laps from the end. Note, you can also use lag behind. L fall behind. Отставать. Boris is falling behind all the top um, runners. Mm -hmm. The horse that we were hoping would win gradually fell behind the other runners. Okay. Следующее. Get into. Mm -hmm. Первое значение. If you get into a particular habit or way, way of behaving, you start to have that habit or behave in that way. То есть впасть в привычку. I really need to get into a fitness routine. Второе. If you get into a subject, you start being interested in it. Informal. She got into healthy eating and doing exercise. То есть впасть во что-то или интересоваться, увлекаться. He's trying to get into Spanish. Он хочет заняться испанским языком. I got into computers when I was a kid. Я стал серьезно увлекаться или интересоваться компьютерами, когда еще был пацаном, ребенком. То есть впасть в привычку какую-то, либо увлечься, заинтересоваться чем-то. Go through. <coughs> If someone goes through a series of actions or movements, they perform it. The music started and, started and we went through a series of warm-up exercises. Второе. In sport. If a person or a team goes through, they win one stage of a competition and go on to the next stage. Serbia beat Russia 3-1 and looks set to go through to round two. Go up. Первое. When someone or something goes up or goes up something, they move from a lower position to a higher one. We saw a party of mountaineers going up the mountain. Note, the opposite of go up is go down. 
Though if a cheer, shout or other noise goes up, a lot of people cheer, shout or make that sound at the same time. A huge cheer went up as the players walked out onto the court. Go up, противоположное это go down. Пример. Let's go up that hill. A cheer went up from the crowd as the queen stepped onto the shore. Когда королева ступила на, на берег, раздавались или раздались приветственные крики толпы. Так, значит, if a short or cheer, if, ah, if a shout or cheer goes up, it is made by a lot of people together. A cheer went up from the other passengers. То есть поднялся, раздавался шум в этом значении. Вот еще go up значение. If a price or amount uh, level goes up, it becomes higher or greater than it was. Prices have gone up 60%. То есть цены поднялись на 60%. То есть подняться, увеличиться. Третье значение у фразового глагола go up. Join in. If you join in or join in an activity, you start to do something with other people who are already doing it. We enjoyed, okay, we joined in with the celebrations. Присоединяться или take part, participate. I hope that everyone will be able to join in the fun. Let's join in singing. Или let's join in dancing. Вообще чаще всего join без предлога in. To join so something. Присоединиться к чему-либо. Keep up. If you keep up an activity, you continue to do it and do not let it stop or end. То есть продолжать. I can run fast over a short distance, but I can't keep it up. Второе. If you keep up, you move at the same speed as someone else. Howard had to hurry to keep up with us. То есть продолжать что-то или во втором значении поспевать. Keep it up. Продолжайте. Не останавливайтесь. Keep it up. Often they had to pause to allow him to keep up. He kept up with her. We should keep up with the times. Мы должны идти в ногу со временем. Slow down. Следующее. Первое. If something or someone slows down, or if something or someone slows them down, they start to move or happen more slowly. The driver slowed down and then stopped. Note. The opposite of slow down is speed up. То есть, замедляться slow down, а противоположно ускоряться это speed up. Второе. If someone slows down, or if something slows them down, They become less active or energetic. You're working too hard. You need to slow down. В общем-то, примерно то же самое значение. He had an injured leg, which was slowing him down a little. Пример. The car slowed down as they passed customs. There is no cure for the disease, although drugs can slow down its rate of development. You will need to slow down for a, for a while. He was still taking some medication, which slowed him down. Mm, speed up. If something speeds up, or if you speed it up, it moves or travels faster. <coughs> the driver sped up as he approached the lights. Wake up. When you wake up or when someone or something wakes you up, you become conscious again after being asleep. In the morning, I wake up and feel refreshed. Uh, I wake up at the slightest noise. Я просыпаюсь от малейшего шума. Wake me up at seven. Разбуди меня в семь. Wear out. If something wears you out, it makes you become so tired that you cannot continue what you were doing. There is no point in wearing yourself out. <coughs> Изнурять. Изматывать. I'm worn out by the work. Это работа со всем меня до канала. Следующее. Work on. 
really work at. То есть wear out – изнурять, изматывать. Work on, work at. If you work, uh, mm -hmm. um, значит, да, это у нас было wear out, work on. Uh, if you work on something, you spend time and effort trying to improve it. <coughs> He has been working on his game all season. Note, you can also use work at. I'm still working on it. I'm working on this subject. You have to work at being friendlier with people. Тебе нужно учиться быть дружелюбнее в общении с людьми. Work out. If you work out, you do physical exercises in order to make your body healthy and strong. She worked out in a gym class three hours a week. Work out. Заниматься спортом, тренироваться. I work out at the gym twice a week. Я тренируюсь в спортзале два раза в неделю. Work out. If someone works up a feeling, the energy to do something, or an appetite, they gradually develop it and increase it until they have what they need. She went for a run to work up an appetite. То есть нагулять аппетит, если мы говорим об аппетите. Сейчас мы еще посмотрим примеры, но пока второе значение. When you are doing something regularly, if you work up to a particular amount or level, you gradually increase or improve what you are doing until you reach that amount or level. Repeat move movements 1, 2 and 3 four times at first and gradually work up to about six repetitions. Note, you can also use build up. <coughs> Even if you are not prepared to work up a sweat three times a week, any activity is better than none. То есть, в первом значении вызывать в себе. We went for a walk uh, to work up an appetite. Мы пошли на прогулку, чтобы нагулять аппетиты. Вызвать или нагулять. А во втором значении как stimulate, стимулировать. He couldn't work up any enthusiasm. То есть build up, как бы увеличить, increase. The traffic continues to build up. <coughs> То есть увеличиваться или стимулировать. Следующее, пятнадцатое. Это у нас travel and tourism. Check in. If when you check in or when someone checks you in at a hotel, you arrive at the hotel, collect the key to your room and fill in any forms which are necessary. То есть регистрироваться. I checked in at the Grand Hotel. Второе. When you check in at an airport or when someone checks you in, you show your ticket before getting on the plane. He checked in without baggage for a flight to Rome. The remaining passengers were still being checked in. Так, то есть зарегистрироваться. Let's check in at this hotel. You must check in at least one hour before take off или taking off. I checked in at two o'clock sharp. <coughs> check out. Выписываться. When you check out, you pay the bill at a hotel where you have been staying and leave. She checked out of the hotel and took the train to Paris. They packed and checked out of the hotel. This is <coughs> Come across. If you come across someone or something, you find or meet them by chance. This is not встретиться случайно. As they walked round the lake, they came across a bridge. I came across these old photos recently. <coughs> We came across him in a shop. I came across this word several times. Да, то есть я встретил, встречал, или мне это слово попадалось несколько раз. Come from. If you come from a particular place, you were born there or grew up there. 
Nuria comes from Madrid. Where does she come from? То же самое как where is she from? From where is she? Where is she from? Where does she come from? Или where is she from? То есть откуда она? Следующее. Drop off. When you are driving, if you drop off a person or thing, <coughs> you take them somewhere and leave them there. Usually on your way to somewhere else. I can drip, drop her off on my way home. I need to drop off some books at the office. Drop off. Подвести кого-либо. То есть высадить. <coughs> да, высаживать. Высадить. He dropped me off at the corner of the street. Он высадил меня на углу улицы. Get away. Get away. Первое. If you get away, you succeed in leaving a place or person. If I am lucky, I might get away by midnight. Второе. If you get away, you go somewhere to have a holiday. Is there any chance of you getting away this summer? То есть в первом значении уезжать... Уехать, то есть удалось уехать. Уйти, сбежать, убежать, ускользнуть, удрать. You can get away from it. От этого не уйдешь. I want to get away from the city. I wanted a divorce. <coughs> I wanted to get away. I was lucky to get away from work early. То есть уйти с работы. Во втором значении съездить, отдохнуть, то есть взять отпуск. I couldn't get away at all last year. I was too busy. Мне не получилось взять отпуск в прошлом году. Было слишком много дел. То есть, как to go on a vacation. She is too busy to get away. It'll be nice to get away. Третье. Get away. Есть еще значение. Выйти из трудного положения. Выйти сухим из, вой... из воды. То есть, что-то сошло с рук. <coughs> You can get away with it. Это не сойдет тебе с рук. То есть get away значение есть еще как убежать, сбежать. The robbers got away with six thousand pounds. The thieves got away with all our money. Uh, воры скрылись, прихватив все наши деньги. The prisoners, prisoners got away. То есть скрыться, сбежать, escape. Такое еще значение. <coughs> get back. If you get back, you return somewhere after being in another place. We didn't get back till midnight last uh, last night. Mm -hmm. То есть get back. Допустим, get back home. Возвращаться. Get in. If you get in or get in a place such as a car, house or room, you go inside it. She got in and started the car. <coughs> I got in a taxi and went to the airport. Note, the opposite of get in is get out. То есть садиться. Так. Get in. Get in the car. Или get out of the car. То есть садись в машину. Или выходи из машины. <coughs> Второе значение. When a person or a vehicle gets in, they arrive at a place where people are expecting them to be. То есть прибывать. Her train should get in at 6.30 p.m. The train got in late. То есть поезд прибыл поздно. Get into. Первое. If you get into a place such as a car, house or room, you enter it. То есть войти как enter. They got in the back of a taxi. Второе. If a person or a vehicle gets into a place, they reach it. We got into London at 1 o'clock. То есть добраться. Arrive. <coughs> get off. If you get off or get off a bus, train or plane, you leave a bus, train or plane. I slipped as I was getting off the train. То есть выходить. Note, you can also use get out. Note, the opposite of get off is get on. Второе, when you get off, you leave somewhere often to start a journey. I plan to get off before the traffic gets bad. Note, you can also use get away. Get off. Get off the bus. Выходите из автобуса. Are you getting off? Вы выходите? 
I'm getting off at the next stop. Я выхожу на следующей остановке. Во втором значении uh, отбывать, отправляться. То есть идти. И это равняется как get away. We must be getting off now. Нам нужно уходить сейчас. Или нам пора отправляться. <coughs> Следующее. Go around или go around. Uh, go around – это американский вариант, а uh, go around – без буквы A – это британский. If you go around or go around a group of people or places, you visit or go to see people or places one after the other. I want to go around the art galleries while I'm in London. Note, you can also use go around. This is mainly British. Ну, это я уже говорил. Второе. If you go around or go around a country or other place, you travel in a country or other place and visit a lot of different things. I'd like to go around Africa myself. <coughs> Note, you can also use go around. This is mainly British. Еще примеры. Let's go around and see Mike. Давай пойдем проведаем Майка. If you go around to someone's house, you go to visit them uh, at their house. Mike went round to see them. Во втором знач значении путешествовать или visit, наносить визит. He goes around quite a lot. Он много где бывает, то есть путешествует. I spent a day uh, going around and seeing museums. Я потратил день на то, чтобы походить повсюду и посмотреть музеи. <coughs> Следующее, go away. Первое, if you go away, you leave somewhere. She went away to think about it. Второе, if you go away, you leave your home and spend time somewhere else, especially as a holiday. What did you do over the summer? Did you go away? То есть, уехать уйти. <coughs> She went away for a change. Она уехала для разнообразия. Ну, чтобы сменить обстановку. To go away for a holiday, это уехать в отпуск. To go away for a rest, это отдохнуть. То есть, уехать для отдыха. Over the summer означает течение лета. Over the last three years означает в последние, ну, за последние три года или в течение трех лет. Head for. If you head for a place, you start moving towards it. We had decided to head for Miami. You can also use make for. То есть head for или make for направляться, двигаться. When the train stops, let's head for the center. He was heading for the exit. He headed for the bus stop. Или можно еще сказать, he headed to the bus stop. Так, теперь. The rose... А, ah, she rose from her seat and made for the, for the door. We made for home. Дальше. Move on. If someone moves on, they continue a journey after stopping for a short time. То есть, двигаться дальше. After three weeks in Hong Kong, we moved on to Japan. <coughs> Note. You can also use carry on. Примеры. I knew I was going the wrong way, but I just carried on. И последнее. Set off. When you set off, you start a journey. What time do we need to set off tomorrow? Note. You can also use set out. То есть set off, set out означает отправляться. He set off for work an hour ago. Он уехал на работу час назад. They set off for the cinema. А они отправились в кино. We set out for the south. Мы отправились на юг.